Norovirus is a highly contagious virus that causes gastroenteritis, which is an inflammation of the stomach and intestines. This inflammation leads to severe vomiting and diarrhea. Norovirus is often referred to as the winter vomiting bug because it is more common in colder months, although it can occur at any time of the year. Norovirus is a member of the Calisivirida family of viruses. It has many different strains, which can make immunity to the virus short-lived and difficult to achieve. This means that even if someone has been infected with norovirus once, they can still get it again, possibly from a different strain. The virus is notorious for its ability to spread rapidly in places where people are in close contact, such as cruise ships, schools, hospitals, and nursing homes. This ease of transmission is due to its robust nature, allowing it to survive on surfaces for extended periods and its low infectious dose. It takes only a few viral particles to make someone sick. Norovirus is the leading cause of acute gastroenteritis worldwide. It affects millions of people each year, leading to significant healthcare costs and lost productivity. Globally, the virus is responsible for approximately 685 million cases of gastroenteritis each year, including 200 million cases among children under the age of 5. Causes of Norovirus The causes of norovirus infection are primarily related to its mode of transmission. The virus spreads through the fecal-oral route, meaning that tiny particles of feces or vomit from an infected person end up being ingested by others. This can happen in several ways. Direct contact with an infected person, such as caring for someone who is ill or sharing utensils or food with them, is a common mode of transmission. The virus can also spread through contaminated surfaces. When an infected person touches a surface after using the bathroom or vomiting without proper hand hygiene, they can leave behind viral particles. These particles can survive for days or even weeks, waiting for someone else to touch the surface and then inadvertently transfer the virus to their mouth. Food and water can also become contaminated with norovirus. This often occurs when food handlers are infected and don't practice proper hygiene, leading to outbreaks in restaurants or catered events. Shellfish, particularly oysters, can also be a source of norovirus if they're harvested from contaminated waters. Another significant factor in the spread of norovirus is aerosolization. When an infected person vomits, the force can create an aerosol spray of virus particles that can contaminate a large area. These particles can then settle on surfaces or be inhaled by others nearby, leading to infection. Symptoms of norovirus The symptoms of norovirus infection typically begin 12 to 48 hours after exposure to the virus. The onset is often sudden and intense, catching many people off guard. The primary symptoms include nausea, vomiting, watery diarrhea, and abdominal pain or cramping. Many people describe the abdominal pain as a constant, dull ache that intensifies just before bouts of vomiting or diarrhea. The vomiting associated with norovirus is often described as projectile and can be quite violent. It's not uncommon for infected individuals to vomit multiple times per hour at the peak of the illness. The diarrhea is typically watery, non-bloody, and can be voluminous, leading to rapid dehydration if fluids aren't replaced adequately. In addition to these gastrointestinal symptoms, many people experience a low-grade fever, headache, and body aches. The combination of these symptoms, along with the frequent vomiting and diarrhea, can leave individuals feeling utterly exhausted and weak. Some people describe it as feeling like they've been hit by a truck. It's worth noting that while these symptoms are incredibly unpleasant, they're usually short-lived. Most people recover within one to three days. However, during that time, the experience can be quite miserable. The frequent trips to the bathroom, the inability to keep food or water down, and the overall feeling of malaise can make even this short duration feel much longer. For some individuals, particularly young children, older adults, and those with weakened immune systems, the symptoms can be more severe and last longer. In these cases, the risk of complications primarily related to dehydration increases significantly. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Diagnosis of Norovirus 
Diagnosing norovirus can be challenging because its symptoms overlap with those of other gastrointestinal infections. In most cases, a clinical diagnosis is made based on the characteristic symptoms and the presence of an outbreak. Laboratory testing is not usually required for routine cases, but can be conducted in outbreak situations or for vulnerable patients where confirmation is necessary. Diagnostic tests for norovirus include reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction assays, which detect the virus's RNA in stool samples. These tests are highly sensitive and specific, making them the gold standard for norovirus diagnosis. Treatment for norovirus When it comes to treatment, the approach for norovirus infection is primarily supportive. There are no specific antiviral medications approved for treating norovirus, and antibiotics are ineffective against viral infections. Instead, the focus is on managing symptoms and preventing complications, particularly dehydration. The cornerstone of norovirus treatment is fluid replacement. The combination of vomiting and diarrhea can quickly lead to dehydration, which is the most serious complication of the infection. Oral rehydration solutions, which contain a balanced mix of water, salts, and sugar, are the preferred method for replacing lost fluids and electrolytes. These solutions are designed to be easily absorbed by the body, even when the digestive system is irritated. For those who can't keep fluids down due to severe vomiting, or for individuals who become severely dehydrated, intravenous fluid replacement may be necessary. This is more common in young children, older adults, and those with underlying health conditions. In addition to fluid replacement, other supportive measures can help manage symptoms and improve comfort. Anti-emetic medications may be prescribed to help control nausea and vomiting, though these should be used cautiously, especially in children. Over-the-counter pain relievers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen can help with fever and body aches. Diet management is also an important aspect of treatment, while the old adage of sticking to the brat diet, which is composed of bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast, isn't strictly necessary. It's generally recommended to start with bland, easily digestible foods once vomiting subsides. Gradually reintroducing a normal diet as tolerated is usually the best approach. Rest is crucial during recovery from norovirus infection. The body needs time and energy to fight off the virus and recover from the dehydration and electrolyte imbalances caused by vomiting and diarrhea. Most people find that they naturally want rest due to the fatigue associated with the illness. It's worth noting that while the acute symptoms of norovirus typically resolve within a few days, individuals can continue to shed the virus in their stool for up to two weeks after recovery. This prolonged shedding contributes to the virus's ability to spread and underscores the importance of maintaining good hygiene practices even after symptoms have resolved. Prevention of norovirus Preventing norovirus infection involves several key practices. Hand hygiene is paramount. Thorough hand washing with soap and water, especially after using the bathroom, changing diapers, and before preparing or eating food is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of norovirus. It's important to note that while alcohol-based hand sanitizers can be effective against many pathogens, they're not as effective against norovirus. Soap and water remain the best option. Environmental cleaning and disinfection are also crucial, especially in settings where outbreaks are common. Surfaces should be cleaned with bleach-based solutions or other disinfectants, specifically approved for use against norovirus. The virus can persist on surfaces for days or even weeks, so regular and thorough cleaning is essential. In food service settings, proper food handling practices are vital. This includes ensuring food handlers don't work while ill and for at least 48 hours after symptoms resolve, as well as proper cooking of foods, especially shellfish, which can harbor the virus. At the end, while the acute illness it causes is typically short-lived, its ability to spread rapidly and the severe symptoms it causes make it a public health challenge. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know have norovirus? What symptoms did you have? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.